Vice Chancellor, so officially welcome us to Show State University. Can we please have changes to Vice Chancellor? Good morning, the Director General and all officers of the Dome Commission. This is important, very important for the life of this university. Because the reason that the government of Washington loves this university is because of the achievement of this university. Everywhere the government talks, they reference the nation all the time. All the life of the government is about it, this university. And it's not because of any other thing, it's because of things like this. I am myself the best scientist in the area of ethnobotany and plant conservation. I'm a plant scientist. I'm a plant scientist. It was in the late part of my career that I veered into the, the real science of plant research and food chemistry. As related to that. But my initial scientific research, about 10 populations, are in the area of plant conservation and ecology and ecology. And that's the reason that I'm interested in this project. Also, because I was at the University of Tonight and the Institute of in Germany as a visiting postdoctoral fellow. And each time I ran into a problem in the laboratory, and I wasn't able to get what I was looking for. There is this very beautiful garden in that university. Very massive botanical garden. I would just excuse myself from the lab and go there. And you know, it's like a spiritual thing. The solution will just come out in that garden. So I've found the garden so much. The same thing I experienced when I was in Italy. Same thing when I was in Bonn. Garden as power. That is what you see in the developed nations. People maintain gardens. They, they try to create green zones everywhere. It's not for anything but to rejuvenate thinking, to help people to meditate and get answers to problems. Do you know that? Recent scientific results show that when someone is sick and it goes into a perfect garden all the time, the plant, without even eating or touching the plant, the plant has any power. Things like that have been published in recent times that we don't really have to drink, have a chewed plant or anything. That just go in the environment, that the exchange is spiritual, things. So, we are glad that this is being initiated at this time. And we want to also see ourselves as contributing to ecological development. Because plants are beyond the ordinary. I argue that the point that of all living things on the planet, plants are the only creatures that live in two environments at the same time. Half of the plant is in the dark energy. Total darkness inside the source, and half is above the ground, which is the same light and light. And of all living things on the planet, plants are the only ones that eat with two mouths at the same time. Or rock water from the ground and take something from the space. And it's been highly several years that were it not for the presence of plants on this planet, no human being would be here today. Because plants are the ones that absorb the heat from the solar radiation and convert it photosynthetically to glucose and sugar. Uh, so, the life of plants is beyond what we think about. And you know too that plants also protest, just like human beings protest when you are faced with a favorable environment. And you may not know the battle that goes on inside the plant when you try to apply a simple exercise of the plant. There's a lot of struggle by the plant trying to rescue itself from the heinous act of human beings trying to eat the plant. But unfortunately, plants cannot stop and they cannot run away. And that is the only limitation that God has imposed upon them. That they are not able to talk and they are not able to move. 
But in terms of biochemistry, plants are more complex than organisms. So, so, so that note, I'm very happy that we are getting to this stage. And we are getting to study plants. I'm willing to contribute to this. I'm willing to. I'm willing to contribute my expertise to this one, what I know. And then how we can, how we can make this better in the process of implementing this project. Therefore, on behalf of our council, our Senate, our stakeholders, and everybody that is connected to this university, I want to welcome this idea and that delivers to me whatever it is supposed to do to make this collaboration a reality. We are welcome to Oshawa State University. We try to Oshawa State. Thank you very much, Mr. Vice Chancellor. Mr. Vice Chancellor, with your permission, I'd like to quickly introduce uh, the university team members. Uh, unfortunately, some of them are quite busy now on another university assignment, but I will just quickly run uh, through their names. The University of Puget Sound, Dr. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vice Chancellor Harry. The project lead, laboratory work, is our director and the Monsieur of Inspired Research Laboratory, Professor Sotte of Asuyaki. The project lead, field work, plant biology, is Dr. M.M. Shimo. The project lead, carbon simulation and chemical engineering, it's Dr. Tukman Abidoui. Dr. Tukman Abidoui is currently here. I hope he's appreciated. A member of the team, an illegal aspect, is a Sisi Nungu Iwali. Mr. Iwali is currently here. He's a spectator. Then the project facilitator, sir. And then the one in charge of the stakeholders' organization is our own Mr. Esso at KBC Donors of KBC. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I would like to quickly introduce the acting HOD of the plant biology to you, Dr. Chi Mumu Mola, Now that the project lead is currently uh, busy on another investor assignment, I would like to, with your panel, please short, sir. I would like to call on the acting HOD to briefly uh, give us an overview of the biodiversity projects, the plant plant. Team and strategy. Your face appreciates Dr. Mr. Uh, and all the uh, principal officers. Uh, on the team here, I have a member of the senior political department. Representing out there, Dr. M. H. Moore. Presently, he is not avoiding the absence. I sent him on error. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, uh, our Vice Chancellor is in two plants. He's our organ in the plant research. So I don't have much to say. He has said a lot. But of course, we are all aware that plants have a lot of uses protection of soil. Nutrient cycling, supply of oxygen, provision of shade, and so many other ones. And just like our uh, question said the other time, I'm into plant stress physiology. In stress physiology, we hear that plants are also stressed. A lot of factors stress them. And if care is not taken, some of these plants will go into extinction. This is what I think is very important why this uh, project is uh, a very important project that we must all pay attention to. Uh, just like I said earlier on, I'm not part of this uh, project. I'm going to be handing over to the facilitator, Mr. SYGC, who is in a better position to give us a brief into this project. Is that your sense?
Good morning, sir. Uh, our young vice chancellor, sir. And um, the extra, the super officers, and also our, our special uh, guests, the PG, the young commission, and the team. I, I want to say this by uh, linking up with what the vice chancellor has explained as a background to the very future. Because at every stage, even from the beginning, I intimated uh, our Vice Chancellor and as department, our HUD, and as strategic positions of the what is kind of right now, I intimated all of them that this idea is what I'm thinking about and we also have made this reply and we all gave a nod to it. And the first point of explaining this very project is actually to invite the audience here to, to help me appreciate this very, the leadership of the very university. Please help me appreciate it. <laughs> the second point of call for this very project is that at different stages we encounter different challenges which we were looking at how we can overcome them. That was what led us to the ground uh, commission. And when I shared the idea with the contact of the Grand Commission, we had a series of almost two, uh, two months deliberating on this very uh, issue, trying to harmonize the thoughts and the, and the rest like that. And today, I am happy that uh, we are here together and the project is here. That is not only for Oshun State, not only for Southwestern Nigeria, but I must say that it is going to inspire a similar collaboration in the world. So I, I want to invite us also to appreciate from the DD and the team of that position. Let's just appreciate it. And lastly, on this very project, I want to also say that a lot of stakeholders have contributed the message to this sitting that we are achieving today. And that is the representative from the uh, government, which is the Ministry of Innovation. Uh, Science and Technology, which is classified by presenting the ministry. Please let us appreciate that. And I, I am hoping that we, we are going to have the generosity uh, the for the, the Ministry of the Local Government, who doubled as the second to the number in council. They did a very fantastic job for us to mobilize the, all the others in the state and we met them, we destroyed them, and I must say this. As the representative for the the candidacy of our country, not available in the country now, we would love to, to, to have been here. But he sent a very cogent message to this very city, which is that he, he has donated 20 acres of land for this very country. And also host some of the strategic uh, uh, research structures in their community. Let us appreciate our good people. And also, on that very knowledge, the Royal Majesty of our uh, uh, autobusy of the uh, Federal Kingdom called me several times and told me that we have to be done in this I am part of this, just like the way our visit has rightly said. And, uh, and uh, here today, he, he, he has sent the industry from the palace to actually participate in this very meeting. Let us appreciate our country. A lot of them like that, but we don't want to make this elaborate for that time because we might tend to work with that. And I must say, before I, I wrap up how far we have gone with this very project, I must say that uh, all these things that uh, we have put together, I just had the idea, the motivators, the collaborators, externally and internally. But we have some fighter people that have piloted it at grassroots level. Because we without them having the resource to carry on, we won't be able to actually have this city. And these are my students that are here. Uh, Jennifer is actually the lead on that unit and uh, I have uh, a big thing on the other side. We are going to fight to uh, the reason why we are moving forward. And lastly, I must say that uh, so far that we have done, I have been doing, I have been doing just where I emanated from. Without any authority from that very good, because nothing is going to happen, even beyond 
that very dangerous. And that is my department. I want most of us to appreciate our equipment here. So, so that is what I just want to say as well. Because yes, every other details have been uh, have been able to be given report from time to time to all the stakeholders that I hope. The concept you know, that summarizes all these thoughts are also the forums. So I thank you and God bless you. And that's it, that's it. Is. I want to appreciate because at the end of the day, when everything has been done, there was only one single person that, that should give approval of okay, this is how the embassy is going to call me, and that is my, my daddy here, and that is the registrar of the university. I submitted all the reports to him, and immediately he took the report and said to me that no problem we are going to have the kind of conversation at the admin level and the management level, and we are going to give you a date, and we are going to even pass it uh, on how it's going to happen. Thank you so much, sir. So, for this one, I, I wrap up uh, the whole conversation about the year. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going straight to the ground side collaborators, and we're going to start with uh, the government ministries, which. On behalf of permanent secretary, Mr. Mark Chimo. I would like to appreciate the BC. Honestly, the last time we came as a team to this place, we saw the passion in the BC. Talking about innovation, talking about everything that has to do with the two So many things, the talk that even brief one that we gave, I saw so many things again. Very wonderful. And also, of course, that also made us to see that truly the development, growth, and everything that is happening is of course because things are here. Thank you very much, sir. So we can see, of course, the national handshake being received today. Of course, I just mind to see that this idea. That is being better today again by Mr. Adebisi of Plant Biodiversity Research. It's not only better that the project is not only better for us, that the project at the end of the day will achieve all the objectives stated. I provide gratitude to the Council of Others because they really took up of this project and said, the Secretariat of Show Space for the one reception and really support the Senate to the initiator, personal minister, and the business. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Of course, as I was saying before, the last time we came here, that we came to answer the multidisciplinary laboratory, we saw that all these things, no thing is happening in this place. Not only that, we also visited the Bush, that is a digital business hub. Because that's another world of creativity. With an additional cost and efforts of the PC to see that innovation and reflection is trial. Truly, this vision has a very, very passion for innovation in general. As rightly said by the PC, that talking about innovation, that is what area of expertise. This expertise is not very, very, very an expert in that area. Plant biodiversity research is indeed an embracing innovation, which is of course so our dear Mr. David says is leaving no stone on top, leaving out its common source to see that a problem and identified is not less on such but using every source, every resource in its capacity and whatever it can take for him to achieve solutions to whatever that has to do with plants. Talking about plants, of course I have so many things to say about plants. Plants, of course, if somebody is eaten of plant, let me put it down. You see that the person will expect to longer it, sand out. 
even we have good things to say about smarts. Talking about the new version, inventions that we are, of course, addressing this morning. Because we're talking about the fire, this is the smart research, we're talking about the advantage of what there's going to be survey, there's going to be documentation, there's going to be economic factors, benefits, and the rest. So, in that sense, talking about motivation, talking about passion, talking about potential, profession, talking about product, productivity, and of course, profit at the end of the day. Which was that I was all trying to find my innovation as be ready to come back. So, I would not like to take much of our time, but someone has to tell us that we still need to look at some things. We are addressing extinction, not never extinction, that is total elimination of plants and the rest. But there are so many things that are also inhibiting the plants. And those are the ones talking about sources, talking about that some ingredients, nutrients, composition of everything, that the soil leaves, they are becoming worse, they are decreasing, and they are not, and our plants are not performing to expectation. Even the yeast we are getting. I remember probably last two years ago, around 2022, 2020, sorry, the drops happened that need farm produces to be very, very, very reduced. It was drastically reduced. That people are not getting good yeast. What are the things that of course? So these are the things that we need to look at and also look at their set of causes. What how can we improve the quality of our soil? Removing harmful effects that it causes from our soil and encouraging, we need to encourage what? More of greenhouse planting. I thank you. And honestly, as the visit, I like this say, I should take your hands, love this institution. And we we'll always embrace anything that comes out of this institution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the reception of the department of section 3. Uh, we're going straight to the report. I would like to quickly call on the representative of the Royal Majesty of our geography and the Uber City of the United States of the United Mr. Ojewa Neba Kari, please talk to the people that are here. I want to say something to everybody. I want to thank you on the existing uh, protocol. Uh, my own solution is to solve it. Render every assistance that is needed for the community. Uh, I and my partner will be fully involved in this program. Thank you. Thank you very much. The excellent advice from the University of Dr. Otoa in Orlando. Thank you very much. First of all, the executive I'd like to appreciate the advice of the all the registrar, all the press officers, the president of the committee, stakeholders, collaborators, Advisors at least for this project uh, to stand and to, to comment as you have all supported the initiation. I want to appreciate all of you because it's not because of the fact that this project comes to stay, but because of the fact that you still think about sustainability. Because the sense of research that we carry out, if we don't transform them to be a sustainable one, it will be difficult for us to have a, a, it will be difficult for us to have a, 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 a nation's development. So if we don't develop our own country, how do we now transform it to develop other nations? But before I just give very short uh, I want to acknowledge and appreciate those that are supposed to be here that are collaborating with this research. 
starting with Professor Otto Mifadani, is uh, one of the foreign uh, leaders and genetics from Nassau of Wednesday. He's also collaborating with us, one of the advisors. We have our, our guide to Professor Otto Mifadani, that's been in charge of our strategic development over there, the University of Ireland. Also, in charge of the United Nations Sustainable Development and Social Network, we also have the Sorosco, who has a poker. It's one of the uh, plan sites for German society. And we also have a Maria Putin, also from a UN, uh, SDSF, United States. I was glad this uh, research is for us to survey the document and to carry out several analysis. The theological, biochemical, molecular. Then we now, we can now help us to conserve all these plants that are, you know, that we have found in diverse environments. And the tangent, the end point will be not only just for us to conserve us, for us to be able to establish a kind of gene bank that has been using by the molecular aspects. It's integrated. The molecular aspects, whereby we'll be using different molecular markers. We'll be looking at it in, in, uh, in order for us to be able to have a, uh, a be able to carry out the, uh, a, a perfect diversity uh, measure from that. And I want to appreciate you all because you have given us a very good green light that yes, this project not just that we have started, that we end here, but that it's going to come out to be a official one. And by future this over all of us we, we sit down, we also come back to that thing and so it is what we have achieved and this we are going to transform this research and for the uh, development of this mission. Thank you very much, Sansa. It is therefore dedicated to coordinating agencies 
fully empower the governments to ensure delivery of the compensated development aspirations of the region as expressed to what has generally what has been generally adopted as known as the development agenda for one started. I would like to say briefly here that John, the idea of John itself, I, uh, when I say this one thing, I'm people are surprised. It didn't even start from the governments. The idea of John came from outside. We had 20, 10, 20, 11 below academicians, businessmen, politicians, pseudo politicians came together and came on over an 18 month period. We want to then call the Dawn Agenda. Well, that agenda that was taken to the governments of the six southern states, they bought into it until 2012, they launched that document and said, let us create a work that will be wide our regional cooperation. And that was what gave back to the Commission itself. To this end, the Commission is fully committed to making the southwest states of Nigeria as the preferred place for people to visit, live, walk, and invest. When we say southwest region, we invite the people from any kind of country within the contiguous states of Lagos, Ubu, Oyo, Austin, ABC, and Ulu, as well as the surrounding states like Wara, Edu, Delta, Kogi, whom we can also trade back to history with. Job Commission is not a global agenda. But the development agenda was the main nation for Nigeria. This particular project is one that fascinates me, especially because we cannot afford to jeopardize our heritage because of the inherent benefits embedded in plans for human beings. I should say we need to move beyond thinking these herbs and species are just for regionalists and families. God gave mankind these beautiful resources to support our existence. Plants are natural resources that play many important roles within the ecosystem, including protection of soil and habitats. They create cycles. They create cycles for nutrients, stomach, skin, for respiration. They provide shade and shelter as well as food, food and medicine to you. And they also serve as feed for animal, raw materials for industrial use, and through biological carbon sequestration to absorb excess carbon in the atmosphere to support the lives of other organisms. In essence, the basic sort of life for survival and continues of existence in that And if I may add my own reason, I remember that the young boy, several years ago, in 1982, 1981, I remember that I told him, probably the first thing I ever read in my life, something about hope. Look like great then, my name's Uncle. You give my young car fish. You do not understand me. You understand me. If I saw I only pass by President. You give me the this is the baby dust to fish. That was my first encounter with anything good to me or and uh, so the thing that I won't see years later. We hear again. Then it was the mission. Then I took my mission. It's a very common thing. Standard creek. But I fell in love with it, and that's my own personal experience. You know, when I read, it's a friend that was doing my play exam to say, who puts concrete in grass is very good. And the workers were thinking, why are you planting grass everywhere? I said, yeah, I don't like concrete. I, and when I went to university, I went to university even. And for those of us who have not used it, you understand why some of us are very good. However, these plants are adversely affected today. Today we just put Tarapila and hold everything where we want to build. But then at the same time we have flood in Lagos and we're thinking, why are we having this flood? It's climate change. That's the result of the These plants are adversely affected by activities from road construction to houses, or even erosion and flooding, which degenerates the environment, use their population, and cost loss. It's therefore only need to reverse this trend, most importantly as community levels, because that is where the in-depth knowledge of this diverse man sources and their functions are fully served. This community engaged research therefore require collaboration of all parties 
So do a free talk to my company, find them out, do a search for us, and I'll do some shady slides just to put those up there. Thank you. 
need of us is God is always doing something new and something can do. And all members of staff and the senses to thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. A citadel of learning, learning, a world class institution, institution. building disciplined leaders, building quality lives, globally competitive graduates, are the product of the nation, home of culture and good conduct. Can you dream and you be Leaders of tomorrow.